brought you interesting talks with Footprints Counselling Service. I hope that you're in a good place. At times in life, life can seem like a game of snakes and ladders, i.e. many ups and many downs, even in the course of a day. This brings me to today's talk, which is on change. The best time to make a change was yesterday. The next best time is today. Change is inevitable, yet there are those who resist change stubbornly, hanging on to life as they want it to be, rather than what it really is. For some change is daunting, even frightening, while others boldly embrace it, welcoming whatever change brings. It's safe to say that a person's makeup their temperament and their attitude about life contribute to how they weather change. Starting right here, right now, there are some basic things that you can actually do to help negotiate and navigate successfully through change. Understand the emotional stages of change. The stage of change is experienced as a loss, uncertainty, discomfort, insight, understanding, integration. Remember, you're giving up something and losing something in order to gain something else. Keep things in perspective. Being able to step back and observe the change that is occurring within your bigger picture of your life helps you to moderate how you think and feel about certain events as they happen. Now stay focused on what you need. This is something that's sometimes very difficult to do and will help define how we see ourselves at times. External relationships, work, status, etc., define who we see, how we see ourselves. And no man is an island. We don't live only considering ourselves. Learn patience. Rome wasn't built in a day, for example. Things generally do not happen overnight. In fact, it may take quite a while before a desired or a reasonable outcome is reached for you. Don't be impulsive push too hard or try to rush the results. Patience will help you arrive at the best possible place you need to be. Be persistent. Change is complicated and multi-layered. It may take a lot of time and effort before all of the pieces fall into place. At times it may be easy to want to give up, especially when you are not getting things to go your way but keep at it the outcome or the solution that you're seeking may be just around the corner stay practical some change requires an immediate response to remedy a situation but in most instances most cases there's simply no rush to get to the finish line go about your life in a way that focuses attention on maintaining balance. Stay present and firmly rooted in the here and now. In other words, create a structure that provides stability and support while you're in the process of transitioning. Experience is a great teacher. The more experience you have with the process of change, the more you come to know and know what to expect along the way and more importantly you gain knowledge through your own cumulative personal transitions about your response to change over time you have the opportunity to alter your responses to change in order to create a more satisfying experience for yourself now change is a part of life and happens whether you like it or not. 
There are changes that we make for the better for our life or for a better experience. It's best to be aware of changes you're in control of and the ones you're not. I hope that you've enjoyed this talk and I found it useful. Do leave comments. If you have not subscribed, do so. Then you will see all of my videos as and when they come out. Until next week, take care of yourselves. Try to stay positive and try to embrace change, especially the ones you have planned for yourself. Until two weeks time, bye for now.